Along with carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins, nucleic acids make up one of the four major macromolecules essential for all known forms of life. Nucleic acid is the term we use to describe specific large molecules in the cell. They are the most important macromolecules for the continuity of life. Nucleic acids are the main information carrying molecules of the cell. And by directing the process of protein synthesis, they determine the inherited characteristics of every living thing. But nucleic acids are not just molecules like DNA and RNA only. There is more to the story of these fascinating molecules. So they are actually made up of strings of repeating units and the two most famous nucleic acids that you have heard about are DNA and RNA. These nucleic acids in the cell act to actually store information. The cell encodes information into nucleic acids much as you record on a tape. So the sequence of these molecules in the polymer can convey, make a protein, please replicate me, transfer me to the nucleus, and so on and so forth. We will take a look at the details of how DNA and RNA function in a cell in a few video lectures. Well, there are other types of nucleic acids, one of which is ATP or adenosine triphosphate. It is, a, it is a simple nucleic acid molecule. Unlike DNA and RNA, ATP is involved with energy storage and has nothing to do with information storage. All living beings run their cells on ATP, like tiny rechargeable batteries, ATP molecules transport chemical energy within a biological cell. Well, back to DNA. All living things have DNA within their cells. In fact, nearly every cell in a multicellular organism possesses the full set of DNA required for that organism. DNA is the genetic material found in living organisms ranging from single cell bacteria to multicellular mammals to viruses. It is found in the nucleus of eukaryotes and in the organelles such as chloroplast and mitochondria. DNA does more than specify the structure and function of living things. It, it also serves as the primary unit of heredity in organisms of all types. In other words, whenever organisms reproduce, a portion of their DNA is passed along to their offspring. Nucleic acids are made up of monomers or building blocks known as nucle nucleotides. Nucleotides are the units and the chemicals that are strung together to make nucleic acids, most notably DNA and RNA. And both of those are long chains of repeating nucleotides. The nucleotides combine with each other to form not only DNA and RNA, but some other nucleic acids. Interestingly, some nucleotides perform important cellular functions as individual molecules. The most common example being ATP, which provides energy for many cell functions, as I mentioned before. Now, let's examine the structure of a nucleotide in detail. The nucleotide is the basic, basic building block of nucleic acids. They essentially are assembled by the cell one at a time and then strung together by the process of either replication in the form of DNA or what we call transcription when you are making RNA. A nucleotide is composed of three distinctive chemical subunits, a phosphate group, a pentose five carbon sugar, and nitrogenous or nitrogen including base. Each nitrogenous base in a nucleotide it is attached to a sugar molecule, which is attached to one or more phosphate groups. Now let's see what each of these components is like in terms of their chemical composition. The phosphate group is attached to the hydroxyl group of the fifth carbon of one sugar and the hydroxyl group of the third carbon of the sugar of the next nucleotide, which forms a chemical linkage called phosphodiester bond. The phosphodiester linkage is not formed by a simple dehydration reaction like other uh, linkages. Connecting monomers in macromolecules, its formation involves the removal of the 
removal of the two phosphate groups. Phosphate is a chemical is a chemical compound made up of one phosphorus and four oxygen atoms. When it is attached to a molecule containing carbon, it is called a phosphate group. It is found in the genetic material DNA and RNA and all the other nucleic acids. In chemistry, a pentose is a simple sugar with five carbons. Pentoses are very important in biochemistry. The pentose sugar in DNA is deoxyribose, and, the, and in RNA, it is ribose. The difference between the sugars is in the presence of hydroxyl group on the second carbon of the ribose and hydrogen on the second carbon of the deoxyribose. Deoxyribose is obtained from the sugar ribose by the loss of an oxygen atom. Metabolically important species that include phosphorylated ribose include ADP, ATP, cyclic ANP, FAD, and NAD. The nitrogenous bases are organic molecules and are so named because they contain carbon and nitrogen. They are bases because they contain an amino group that has the potential of binding extra hydrogen, making it more basic. Adenine and guanine are classified as purines. The primary structure of a purine consists of two carbon uh, nitrogen rings. C cytosine, thymine, and uracil are classified as pyrimidines that have a single carbon nitrogen ring as their primary structure. The easiest way to remember purines and pyrimidines without mixing them up is to remember words pyrimidine, cytosine, and thymine all have the letter Y in them. Also, uracil sounds like there is Y in it. Each of these basic carbon nitrogen rings has different functional groups attached to them. In molecular biology, shorthand, the nitrogenous bases are simply known by their symbols A, T, G, C, and U. The diagram in the slide show shows the overall arrangements in a nucleotide and its components that we have studied together in this video. At the upper left, a phosphate group is represented. At the lower left, a pentose sugar that is connected to the phosphate group is displayed. Finally, there are nitrogenous bases. These individual monomeric groups, the, the sugar and phosphate molecules, are joined to form a backbone of nucleotide. Each nucleotide then joins with one of four possible nitrogenous bases. RNA contains adenine, uracil, guanine, and cytosine, whereas DNA contains adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Thanks for watching.